And now we're going to make some Italian soup, minestrone soup. And boy, I'll tell you what, when you come home and smell that soup cooking, it smells so good. I can must, vouch for that. Yes, it must be the onions and the garlic that give it that good smell. We're going to start with this and just take a look at all the colors that go into this soup. The dark red and the orange and the deep green. These are the foods that are just bursting with antioxidants. They're so good for you. So we're going to start by putting a little olive oil in our kettle. Remember, that's good for Alzheimer's risk. Oh, yeah. Keeps your memory strong. So I wonder how much of that we should be getting a day. A little bit every day would be the goal. Yeah. Okay, we'll get that started. And then we're going to add some chopped celery, a half a cup of chopped celery. The last segment, Doc, you were telling me that there are some real benefits to tofu. Uh, tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, Danny, you know, Tofu is so good for the bones and the heart and it's anti-cancer. Uh, but the, one of the great practical things about tofu is that it, it basically absorbs whatever flavor you put into it. By itself, it's actually fairly tasteless, mm -hmm. which means you can pretty much turn it into anything you want. So that's why, as you notice, we're adding the onion and the garlic, a little bit of salt and so forth. That's what gives it the flavor that you design into the food and that's one reason the taste is so good. Yes, yes. Okay. So we're going to add a little zucchini to this now, sliced zucchini. Let me help you with that. Alrighty, you can stir that. And about a half a cup of chopped onion. That's what really gives it the smell. Oh, I love the onion so sauté. So good. Onions are good for you too. Alrighty. Onions now, are good for hay fever actually. <laughs> Really? Yeah, allergies in general. Now we're going to add some Italian uh, frozen beans to this soup, the dark green you see going in. The most important foods are the deep green leafy vegetables and then the green vegetables. So we're getting all of them today. Here comes the garlic. Here comes the garlic. Remember, garlic is like a natural antibiotic in your system. And you just want to mince, oh, maybe two or three cloves of garlic. Add that. It's a great antifungal as well. Um, it's good for candida infections. It's just good in general. Didn't, didn't someone also tell me, maybe it was you, Doc, at the break or something, that this is also very, very good for regulating blood pressure? Is uh, that right? A, a lot of studies around the world have, have shown that it's beneficial for regulating blood pressure. Huh. So if you're starting to have uh, slight elevations in blood pressure above 120 over 80, mm -hmm. uh, maybe it'd be a good idea to start using a little bit of garlic every day in, in salads and soups like we're seeing today. Mm -hmm. Tastes so good. Okay, now we're going to add a vegetable bouillon to the soup. What does that do, Mom? That just adds a lot of flavor to the soup. And you want to make sure when you're buying the vegetable uh, bouillon cubes, that you read the ingredients because a lot of these have the hydrogenated fats in it. So you want to stay away from the hydrogenated fats and usually your health food store will have the right kind. The hydrogenated and the trans fatty acids are, are the fats that are actually worse for us than the saturated animal fats. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people think they're doing so good staying away from animal fat when in fact they're getting, they're getting uh, food sources that are worse for them. Mm. Now you want to add four cups of water to the soup. And let's turn that temperature up a little bit. Let's add the wrong one here to medium high. Let's get that cooking. All right, four cups of water. And now we're going to start adding the beans. And here are the kidney beans. Two cans of kidney beans, and these are just loaded. You can tell just by looking at them, they're loaded with nutrition. And fiber. Got a lot of color here. Color always means as great as an anti-cancer food, a chemoprotective food. You know, Karen, Danny, this is a great example of, of a meal that is really chemoprotective. What, what do we have now? Navy beans, the little small white beans. One can. Lots of fiber. Lots I, got, of fiber. I got a feeling we're going to make our fiber quota today. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you eat this whole pot of soup, you sure will. There's no doubt about that. Now we're adding one can of garbanzos or chickpeas to the soup. Okay. Dr. Ornish just did a huge study uh, with people who had early form of cancer. 
and he found that he tested over 500 genes that were related to cancer risk. Mm -hmm. And after just three months of eating like this and exercising and managing stress, uh, 50 genes that had been turned on that caused cancer mm -hmm. had been turned off in just three months. Wow. And 450 protective genes that were off now were turned on. And so cancer and disease is usually related to whether your genes are turned on or off. Wow. We can do that with food. And that's the colorful foods that's and the right. high fiber foods. That's right. I like the idea of having your body work the way it's supposed to to prevent disease. No doubt. This is uh, one can of the petite diced tomatoes. Okay, and now we're going to add half a cup of sliced carrots. Well, God designed our, our bodies to be healthy, uh, but he also designed the food that would make the body be healthiest. And so we got to make sure that we're taking advantage of that food. Now I'm just going to chop some spinach. And Danny, if you want to sure. take a little bit of that and chop it as well. This is baby spinach. And spinach has choline and inositol in it. And that actually helps to prevent atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. And so, man, every chance you can throw some spinach into your recipes, put it in. It's a great source of vitamin K which helps uh, prevent calcification of the arteries and the ligaments for those of us that want to stay, stay playing basketball <laughs> until we're 75. Uh -huh. It also has omega-3 fats in it. Well, yay. 10% of the calories in deep green leafy vegetables actually are omega-3 fats. Wow. That's awesome. Wow. OK, now we're going to add some, um, I always like to add to a number of my soups, just some marinara sauce that gives it good color, red color, and um, nice adds a little more flavor. And since this is an Italian soup, we're going to add a little bit of marinara sauce to it. We'll thicken soup. it up a little. Thicken it up a little bit. OK, now we're going to add this chopped baby spinach. About two cups of the chopped baby spinach goes into the Ooh, that's pot. looking really good. It's smelling good, too. This is a meal in itself. You know, all of us actually develop cancer from time to time. And if we're eating foods like this, the probability of the body naturally fighting off that cancer and destroying it are very high because we've activated the genes that God has created us with to actually destroy disease. Wow. Wow. You know, Mom's got us cutting parsley here. Doc, tell us a little bit about some of the benefits of parsley. I usually see it on plates for breath, but it does more than that, right? Yeah, Danny, it, uh, parsley is one of the great examples of activating the anti-cancer genes. Uh -huh. In fact, that they've found that parsley is especially good at inhibiting the spread of tumors, especially lung tumors. Okay? Really? So people, people who have... Uh, exposure to cigarette smoke or, or air pollution in particular should take advantage of parsley. It, it actually activates an enzyme in the body that takes glutathione and neutralizes toxins, destroys toxins that lead wow. to cancer or brain degeneration. Okay, now we're adding the oregano, the mm. thyme, our spices, and we're gonna add some salt to this soup. And we're going to add some shell pasta. And let that cook up. I want to get your parsley in. And our parsley we add right at the very end. We add the parsley at the top. And let that cook. Cancer be gone. Yes. <laughs> so now you see we have a soup that's a meal in itself, loaded with all kinds of nutrients in it that are so good for you. So I would encourage you to try this soup. And if it gets a little bit thick, just add a little more water to it. And don't go away, because we'll be right back. Karen Houghton, host of the TV series Naturally Gourmet, has developed a wonderful cookbook from her years of experience preparing tasty and healthy meals from a plant-based diet. In her cookbook Naturally Gourmet, Karen features a wide variety of recipes, from baked breads to sumptuous soups, from excellent entrees to delightful desserts. I'm Karen Houghton, and if you've been enjoying these programs, I want to tell you about our new website, www.naturallygourmet.com. 
At that website, we have available DVDs, full set of them from all these cooking shows. We also have available a cookbook called Naturally Gourmet with more recipes and more health information. Order Naturally Gourmet today for only $24.99 plus shipping and handling at naturallygourmet.com or call 760-723-8082. That's 760-723-8082. Your adventure into healthy living is only a phone call away.